Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> Happy dance because my family comes to see me. My family is coming to see me and I'm so happy if you can't tell. I should probably preface though that they're not actually our blood relatives. However, they're way closer to us than so many of our actual relatives are. Um, we just always call each other family. We are just so, so close. They, um, we live next to each other. They named their son after my dad. Um, we call them mama and papa. Like they're literally our second parents and they are just the absolute best, most amazing people. I don't have one memory of my childhood in Japan that doesn't involve them. Like we are just so unbelievably close and I am just so lucky to have such a close relationship and such a great bond with people like them. Um, and just the most like selfless, just, they're just so amazing. Like, I, I cannot explain it. They're truly so amazing. But, um, so, Somu, who was named after my dad, he sadly is in college and he will not be able to come. But you'll meet Sai and Eddie, who we call our cousins, and then their parents, Mama and Papa, who we, of course, call them Mama and Papa, too. And I'm just so excited for them to meet Dalton, for me to see them. It's been seven to eight years, um, which I just can't even believe. And just, like just hug them and like laugh with them and like we're all old enough to drink now and just like drink all the drinks and just have so much fun like th it's been such a long time coming so I just am so excited I cannot wait and I'm just yeah I'm so excited to see my family we are all together <laughs> <Yay! Hi. laughs> we're in American Village and I think we're just going to drink our way through this little place and get drunk and just have a lot of fun. There's Mama and Papa over there and their other friend who lives in Oki. But look how beautiful it is. It's a gloomy, pretty day. She does this by herself to her own hands. I can't even paint my own nails without getting paint everywhere. I'm trying to convince her to move to Okinawa so I can have all like the military wives like as her clientele list and then they, she just does it for them and then she moves out here eventually or she lives with us. <laughs> I'm okay with that too. <laughs> around I obviously forgot we went to a mojito bar and I stuck at vlogging like I've said before so completely forgot to film us thing at the mojito bar but we are currently oh. going to but <laughs> we are currently going to um, our apartment to show them what it looks like show them what and so, oh god <laughs> and so look at my makeup it, like the mask is it, I'm like sweating so oh it's god. taking it off <laughs> but that's okay um, and then after that, we are going to take a couple shots of tequila, and then, oh, that's um, why we're going home. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, I love drinking, but they love drinking too, so it like works for all of us. But, um, and then we are going to go to Yasuniku for dinner, so I'm very excited for that. They are here in our apartment touring it, and they said it's really big. Like for especially for two people. But now they're eating cheesecake <laughs> and then we are going to take some tequila shots. <laughs> I'm so excited. I think this is everything that's 
on the menu. It's gonna be a good, good night. And it also did all you can drink, so. I'll find out. You know your girl's happy. So, so it's kind of like Korean barbecue that people have in the States, but much fancier. We are on round two. We have lots of meat going. All right, what is drink wise? Drink wise. How do you, what is your first yakiniku in Japan experience? It's delicious. What do you rate it? One to ten? Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Konajinani. <laughs> Sikwasa. It's like a lime lemon, or like a citrus mm. type. Like when you get broccoli. Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? <laughs> <laughs> I got vanilla. Basic and boring, but so good. We just got back to the room. Look at my makeup again. Oh, it's so bad. But also, I'm like tips, and when I drink, I get that Asian glow. If you know, you know. Also, I should preface this. My face is so bad. By saying that, I know I'm always wearing this shirt in my videos, but it's just because it's so comfortable. And like, I'm all about the comfort. I'm an outfit repeater. Just all the things. <laughs> Anyways, we um, just got back from dinner and I cannot take myself seriously. Look at this face. Um, but as I was saying before blasting myself, can you turn that down, sir? We just got back to the hotel from dinner um it's late so we all separated we're all going to meet tomorrow at uh 9 30 downstairs uh, have breakfast at nine and then we're gonna have um at the hotel and then we're gonna meet at 9 30 for um just i think our day and just like start our day and we don't really know what's gonna happen but yeah but i want to show you this little japanese hotel room okay so we are currently staying in uh the vessel hotel in okinawa and when you walk in you have this section over here and then here are like the hangers and here is your hand washing station i think this sink is so beautiful but from people I follow on Instagram, they always say not. It's like one of the hardest sinks to like wash your face and stuff in. Anyways, so this is the room. Um, in Japan, a lot of the times it's kind of, I don't know about this situation because it is an American village. But a lot of the times in traditional Japanese hotels, they have the two beds separate for husband and wife because... Um, I mean, like I said, it's just traditional. And so they just don't sleep together. Um, and then here is our little toilet room. Of course, it's a bidet. And then here is the bath and the shower situation. Very cute, very cozy. And let me show you the view of American Village. And here's like a little sitting area. Oh, before I do that, I love this. Look how cute this is. So there's light behind there. Dalt, can you press the little knobs? And it like adjusts like that so you can read and a bunch of different things. I love it. And here is our view of American Village. Very cute. American Village is so colorful and fun and loud um but a really really good time good morning it is such a beautiful day in okinawa today um yesterday was pouring so i think it just kind of like all cleared up and we woke up to the most beautiful skies and a great view of the um american village uh ferris wheel but anyways dalton is at work um i just got done getting ready and i'm going to meet my family downstairs to go have some breakfast and then um i'm really not sure what the game plan is again today and i kind of love that like we kind of go with the flow i'm sure there's going to be plenty more drinking again today <laughs> as there was yesterday um but we just had a really great day yesterday we went to yakiniku had a lot of drinks had so much fun and i'm just so glad that dalton was able to meet everybody else because i feel like this has been a long time coming um but i'm excited to see what breakfast looks like i think we are doing like the Japanese continental breakfast at the hotel so stay tuned for that because 
I honestly think a lot of Japanese um, breakfasts for the hotel, like through the hotel, are super popular. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to see what they have. This is kind of where it is. And over here, you have the salad, potato salad, all the fixings for the salad, sauteed bacon and broccoli pasta. Here is steamed rolled cabbage and there was also sausage in there. And then fish. And then over here is like a sushi station. So there's Chirazi sushi and then um, omelet. And then over here is like a tuna making bowl station. So it's a bunch of different kinds of tuna. And then over here we have different rice porridges. There's rice with chicken and then white rice and then miso soup and then um, soba. So you can make your own little soba over here. And then there's noodles, Okinawa roasted pork, more of that. And over here is like kind of like the sweets area. And then here is scrambled eggs, um, tonkatsu pork, hamburger steak. Look how beautiful these eggs are. They kind of look fake. <laughs> and then over here is like the pancakes, um, the breads and all the great things. So here is like their sodas and cocktails, coffee and beer. And then on this side is all the juices. So they have guava juice, shikawasa juice, which is like um, citrus, jasmine tea, milk, and cold coffee. I think I'm gonna do guava juice. I've never done, I've never had guava in my life. And this is my breakfast and my cute breakfast dates. <laughs> we are on our way to Quarry Island. I've heard so many great things about this place. I'm very excited to go look at it and check it out. On the self-driving golf cart. If you look up close, there's no one in those. They're just driving. This is the coolest thing ever. Quarry Island and now we are going to the Okinawa Aquarium and I read that this is the third biggest aquarium in the world and it's very very popular here in Okinawa so I'm very excited to check it out. <laughs> <laughs>
eyes up to the wind we roll The fish on the land ain't happy The shark girls get in the pool But fish in the pool is laughing They in for a first eight When they break the musket ball It's in a million eight What do you under that? traditional Okinawa restaurant um, there's only three other tables here so it's very small it's very cute like super local um, and when you walk in you walk in from that door over there and you take your shoes off down there and then you come in here and you sit and our feet are actually down here on the ground it's very cool and then they give you warm, wet hand towels so you can clean your hands. And they do this at a lot of restaurants too in Japan. And then this is seaweed salad that I'm very excited to try that Dalton already devoured. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here with everybody. My heart is so happy. We all got Orion beer, which is specifically made in Okinawa. And it is so good, it's very light. And it's great. <laughs> Cheers. We're just getting such great food. So this is basically um, scallions with like Japanese bonito flakes on top. And this is tofu, but peanut tofu. Oishi? What does it taste like? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. <laughs> so basically what we're doing is called toriyake. And basically it's like we order a bunch of appetizers type food and we share them. And so it's kind of like a bunch of orders, everyone trying a bunch of different things and it's so good. This specifically is um, like a mixed fish that is fried and made into a gay tempura style. Very excited. And then on top is soy sauce. So I've missed a couple of the foods that we've, we've gotten. But um, this is goya and tofu. I've never had goya before. I'm very excited, but I heard it's a little like nigai, which means a little bitter. And I'm very excited to try. Hey, I do It's very hot. <laughs> and then this is um, pork beer. Looks great. I'm not going to tell Dalton what it is until after he eats it. <laughs> He'll eat it no matter what. But. What, what, what? <laughs> What do you think it is? What do you what do you think it is? Oh, she does. Mmm, that's so good. Tastes like something I've had before. Hmm? I don't. I, I mean, I don't think you've ever had it. Hmm? Whatever, like the vegetables. Oh, it's just cucumber. Gomaji. Gomaji. It is pig ear. Oishi? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little crunchy, huh? Yeah. This is seaweed tempura. Mm. How is it? Tempura. Tempura. And here is some fish. We're trying to figure out what kind it is. But it is an Okinawa type fish. And there's a lot of bones in this fish. <laughs> 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 Funny thing, so we're at an Okinawa restaurant and we thought it said curry, which is not really Okinawan. So we we're like, oh curry, so we got it. And it's actually Kare, it's actually called kare, which is actually a fish, so it's sashimi. <laughs> and he was waiting for curry. Oh, it's funny. This is black squid ink rice. 
<laughs> we were joking about this on the menu, and we ended up actually getting it. Mmm, smells good. It smells good. How do you said that? Let me see your teeth. <laughs> yeah, I had to swallow it and then let me see. <laughs> I didn't know what we said. It. <laughs> and of course, we're ending the night at Blue Seal. Blue Seal is an Okinawa only ice cream. Well, I think they sell it in mainland, but it's made in Okinawa. Very popular. So, of course, we had to go. <laughs> we found Dalton. <laughs> It really looks like him. Listen to these Japanese flavors. We got Benimo, which is uh, purple potato. Ube, which honestly, I forgot what ube is. But then we have strawberry, strawberry cheesecake, Okinawa cheesecake, blue wave, chocolate swirl, mango, royal milk tea, which is what I got, pineapple sorbet, chocolate chip, chocolate ganache, chocolate fudge, chocolate marble, Sugar cane, mint chocolate chip, Okinawa salt cookie, vanilla cookie, almond pistachio, and more on the other side too. They also kind of have like a gift shop. I think they actually make the ice cream yada in this um, in this store in the back. So they have all the clothes over here, and look at this. They have the history of Blue Seal in here, and they have Blue Seal Ice Park. Hawaii. There's a photo booth. Look at this. How darling. Oh, so cute. And here is royal milk tea. We are going to bring all of these. Can you stop? Dalton got my cousins a bunch of American snacks. Honestly, their favorites are fruit roll ups and um what else was it and capri sun but we couldn't he couldn't find that at the store at the commissary so we settled for these but they're gonna love it they love skittles so they're very excited for that and then we got doritos they don't have the cool ranch flavor in japan sour patch kids corn nuts sweet tarts mick and ikes and muddy buddies as well as glazed donut sticks if y'all know about Swiss them rolls. glazed donut sticks mm -mm -mm. boy mm -mm. am elementary school and dunk them in the milk and <laughs> suck them up hey omiyage you buy high did you hey now you try you try <laughs> now i'm not the guinea pig <laughs> I got the big ones too. Mm, muddy buddies. Muddy buddies. Mm. Those are the muddy buddies, though. Chocolate. <laughs> 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 I'm so sad. Today's the last day my family leaves today. Um, I just picked up Dalton from work and we are now meeting them for lunch at the place called Kona's, Kona's Coffee, which is like a Hawaiian type place, but they also have curry. Um, and so we're gonna have some curry, say our goodbyes, which I'm very sad about, and then go back to our regular old day. Honestly, like, I'm like dreading saying goodbye, but I'm so, so thankful that I live in Okinawa now because it's now a two and a half hour plane flight instead of a 16 hour plane flight that it was before, so. 
it's okay i'm gonna see them very soon i'm convincing my cousin eddie to come see me and stay with me for two weeks while dalton's out at training so fingers crossed dalton and i have been wanting to try this little place out so i'm very excited that we finally get to try it <laughs> we ordered him karaga because the other day we were driving and they asked him, they said, What's your favorite Japanese snack? And he goes, Karaga and onigiri. <laughs> but just like food, not a snack. So that's the new rule now, or the new joke now. So they got it for him. <laughs> We just got um, my food. I got pokey. Dalton got uh, grilled shrimp curry. Eddie got fried karaoke plate. Mama got garlic shrimp or salt. The papa got the same as Dalton and Sai didn't get her food. <laughs> I just said goodbye to my family. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Matane. <laughs> We're kind of parked in the same area, but oh, I'm so sad. Like, I'm sad, but I'm also so happy because we're, like I said earlier, so close to each other, and it's like I'm able to travel to them. Well, not now, but once restrictions and everything are lifted, I'll be able to travel to them, and hopefully, they can keep traveling to me because I don't know when our restrictions will be lifted. Fingers crossed, it's very, very soon. My grandma is in the same um, area sort of as them, so I'm just really hoping that everything gets lifted soon and I get to hug them a lot more than I can right now. Hello, hello. Um, I just got home about an hour ago and I took a shower, hence the kind of like what dog look I have going on over here. But I'm just like, so grateful, humble, thankful, all the fools over here. I did not think that my I would be able to see anybody for at least five months with the virus and just kind of the restrictions and everything that we have going on here. But I feel like three months, I'm truly just so lucky and I'm very thankful they were able to come. So thankful for the military for giving us this opportunity to be in Japan and so thankful for Dalton for not only serving the country but picking to come to Japan. Thankfully, he did have that choice. So. I will forever be in his debt for him choosing to come here and be for me to be able to reconnect with my not reconnect but to be closer with my family you know instead of a 16 hour flight it's a two and a half hour flight so very thankful for that and i'm not taking it for granted especially because so many of my friends here haven't seen their families in at least a year if not longer and some of my closest friends on this island have also had babies here and their families haven't been able to meet them or touch them hug them all of the things so i'm very very grateful um, i'm also very grateful that i started this vlog because i'm able to have these home videos you know with them and just hanging out with them and being adults and drinking beer going to great food places and just really hanging out and having the best laughs we have a lot of home videos of all of us when we were kids so it's fun to be able to have this one too but thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed it and um yeah that's it thanks for watching bye